Okay, to be fair, during 1999, Vince Russo was writing, you know, the WWE script and all the things and weird things they did. From the horrible brawl for all to the Royal Rumble in 99 when Vince McMahon won it, I was re-watching it just wondering what the reaction of the crowd would have been. And in 1999, Stone Cold Steve Austin was so over with the crowd. He was so he was the face of the WWF. And then the Royal Rumble comes around. Stone Cold won it last year in 98. And people were okay with him winning again because he was so over and there was no real internet or anything. Rewatching it now, I'm looking at the crowd reaction and I'm like, people are in shock. They're just leaving. They're like, I can't. Some people at home were probably like, I can't believe I paid for this pay per view. Man, what was the whole purpose of Vince McMahon winning? Vince McMahon didn't make it to WrestleMania 15. They had a match at Saint at Valentine's Day Massacre where Stone Cold beat him in a steel cage match. But did they just have Vince McMahon win so that, you know, they could have a rivalry carry on to the next pay-per-view so Stone Cold could face Vince McMahon? The Stone Cold McMahon rivalry lasted until like fully loaded '99, where Stone Cold beat The Undertaker in a first blood match. So the rivalry kind of lasted a while. And Stone Cold faced The Rock at WrestleMania 15, which was actually another horrible WrestleMania. And Road to WrestleMania was horrible in the Attitude Era for some WrestleManias, if you really think about it. But yeah, Vince McMahon won the Royal Rumble, and nobody was happy with it. But that's the whole reaction of it, and why they did it, I guess. Such a dumb idea. Vince Russo, you're an idiot.